Book 1, Proposition 6 of Euclid's Elements, again focuses on isosceles triangles. So if in a triangle two angles be equal to one another, the sides which subtend the equal angles will also be equal to one another. So what this is saying is that if we have some triangle ABC and we know that the angle ABC is equal to the angle ACB, then what we're trying to prove is that this line AB is equal to this line AC. And the way that Euclid approached this proof is by using what's called a proof by contradiction. So the main idea of this proof is that we're going to make an initial assumption and show that that assumption leads to logical contradictions. So we know that we want to prove that AB and AC are equal, but let's assume that they aren't equal, or let's assume that one has to be bigger than the other. So let's say that AB is the bigger side, so that it's bigger than AC, and this can be our initial assumption that we have to show leads to some kind of contradiction. So if we assume that AB is bigger than AC, then we could use book one, proposition three, which says that if we have two lines of unequal length, we can cut off a piece of the bigger line equal to the smaller line. So let's say that this point here, D, is the point where we have to cut AB off such that db is now equal to ac and with this we can connect d to c using postulate number one which says that we can connect any two points with a straight line and from this point we can use book one proposition number four to show that the triangle dbc is equal to the triangle abc so recall that book one proposition four is essentially the side angle side theorem. So if we can find two sides that are equal on each of these triangles and the angle between those sides are equal, then we know that the two triangles have to be equal. So let's first look at DB here and we know that DB is equal to AC. So DB and AC are equal and then in each of these triangles, they each share the same base, this base BC. So DB, BC, and the angle between that is compared to AC and BC and the angle between that. And we have our two sides in our equal angle. So by this book one, proposition four, triangle DBC must equal triangle a, C, B. Now, just by looking at this, you can tell that there's no way this is true. So just to get a better idea, we're saying that this triangle D, B, C is equal to the bigger triangle A, B, C. But since D, B, C is entirely contained within A, B, C, there's no way that they're the same size. In fact, it's pretty obvious that DBC is smaller. So since we know that this can't be true, that tells us that our assumption was wrong since it led to some kind of contradiction. So AB cannot be bigger than AC. Or in other words, one of these lines, AB or AC, can't be bigger than the other one. And if one can't be bigger than the other one, then that means that AB and AC have to be equal to each other. And this is exactly what we sought out to prove. So we can end our proof with QED.